we're back on the scope install and the uh, base is mounted uh, Loctite it down so it's not going anywhere our next step is to mount the rings now with the scope you have this part that's beveled up right here so you need to get your rings between here and between here somewhere in this area now you need to look at your eye relief which is the distance from the uh, eyepiece to your eye this scope is 3.7 inches everybody's a little bit different so 3.7 inches is what it is it may work better for me at 3.5 inches it's hard to say so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our kinda set here and we're gonna say okay I can use the middle hole middle slot here and I can use the back slot here and my scope will fit there I like to keep this distance between your rings as long as I can and that's just a me thing uh, I think it adds more stability to the scope so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go and set loosen that screw up a little bit set that there I'm not gonna tighten it down and I'm gonna put this one in the middle slot in the front here so there's three slots to the front two to the back I know the way that I hold a rifle and the way I shoot I need my scope to come back a little farther on the rifle um, and then I'm just gonna set the scope in there now we're not leveling it and not doing anything like that I want to see where my eye works the best and what you're looking for is when you look in the eyepiece you're gonna see uh, if you see a black ring around the outside you'll want to move your scope until that black ring has disappeared that halo um, because that interferes with how you sight it in the Nikon scopes are very generous with their eye relief uh, it's a long eye relief but that halo effect just doesn't seem to be there as it does with uh, usually with less expensive scopes so I'm going to take the rifle out of the vise I'm going to hold it up like I would when I was shooting and I'm going to rest my head there and I'm seeing a little halo so I'm going to move it a little forward and it seems to have gotten a little better but let's try coming back a little nope that made it worse so I'm going to go forward and I'm just going to try to when I naturally when you naturally lay your cheek down to shoot that's where you want it to be you don't want to have to adjust you you want to adjust the scope to you and that's what we're trying to do here so if I move my head back the halo gets worse if I move forward it's just really unsteady and you want to find that spot where you can repeatedly drop your head on there find your scope and you can do it again be careful I don't have the caps on there if you're worried about dropping your scope put the caps on and then we'll bring it back up shoulder it like I normally would get back in it I'm still having some halo issues if I come back a little and do it again how is it you don't want to adjust you you want to adjust the rifle and right here and do it a few times I need to come back just a tad bit more uh, that's about all the farther back that I can go because of where the front ring is uh, and if I need to move the front ring back to the next slot I have that option so let's look again
eight glasses. That's why I shoot with contacts. And I think we're good right there. Um, and I'm all the way back, so you have the option. I, I'm going to move that back to the next slot just to give me a little leeway there. And we should be good. When I uh, Then we'll mount the rings, permanently attach the rings, and uh, I'll know that I'll be able to get my eye relief set correctly when it comes time for that. So I'm going to move this back one. And then we'll get back with you when we're getting the eye relief set up and that's where it's going to be. So, we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back. We're ready to move on to the next step and that's where this fancy Wheeler Engineering scope mounting kit really comes into play. I can take... There's the two of these that come to a point and I can set them in here and I can look and see do they match up. If they do not match up, chances are you're going to have an issue. Uh, and most of the time they're not going to match up perfect. And they do not. So there's a couple of things you can do to adjust that. Um, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to be right back and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Alrighty. I'm freehanding the camera. But that's what I want you to see. So you can see they're just off just a little bit. And that really is a very little amount. So we're going to try to take care of that. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. As soon as I get this back on the tripod. So you saw that. It's not off a lot. You're looking at pinpoints there. So we're not off much. Um, we're going to take, loosen these up, pull these out. Because we don't need them for this next part. I will take the caps off just and I'll show you in a minute here some lapping compound in here. To do that, I'm just going to use a Q-tip. Uh, you don't need a crap ton on it. You do want to, you know, get enough in there that you're not going to have to a, a light coat. It's a 220 grit compound, and we're not trying to remove a crap ton of material here. We're trying to align everything. So we'll get it on the bottom. We'll get it on the top. If you decide you need more later on, you can always apply a little more. But this is the part. This is it's time consuming. People don't ever want to do this. But and a lot of people don't do it. Any any good gun shop is gonna go through this process later. Right installing your scope, especially if you're buying a pretty expensive scope. So, I think you can tell got some compound in there. Like I said, it doesn't take a ton. 
This kit covers 1 inch and 30 millimeter. This is the 1 inch. I have 1 inch rings and a 1 inch tube. We're just going to set that in there and put our rings back together. We're not going to torque them. We're just going to snug things up a little. And I kind of showed you that, that scope ring video I think you got. I hope. They're just, I want to be able to move it. But it has to, everything has to be aligned as well. And this is how to perfect that alignment. Now I was careful not to get any of the lapping compound anywhere near the uh, screw holes. And you want to look at your rings. The gap, there's a little gap on the side here. You want to try to keep that as even as you can. It's not a perfect thing. And it's almost impossible to make it perfect. Um, this is the handle. And it just screws in here. You can also screw it in here. There is a, a, just a piece here that can go in for the drill. Normally, you don't need to use the drill. you got to be pretty far off if you're going to drill it. So I'm just going to go like this. And after you do it a few times, you're going to want to snug up your mounting screw your rings a little bit. I'm not using a handle, I'm just using the bit. Tighten that a little more. And I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to go this way, back and forth that way, and round it. And the more I go, I might have to snug it up a little bit more. Along the way, it's just the way it's going to work. When I put the rings on the receiver, I did Loctite the screws so that they don't come loose. If it seems like it's getting too easy to work, tighten them up a little bit. I'm not going to kid you, you've seen enough. It's probably going to take me 10 minutes to get these to where I want them, and then I'll show you. Alrighty, looks a little closer. Uh, I think I'm going to be happy with that. And that's uh, all the farther I'm going to go. The camera angle has, you know, it's going to distort things a little bit, and being that I'm zoomed in so close. But it's pretty almost right on when I look at it with my eyeballs. So, We'll get back in a second.